India physical features The image given above shows different landforms of our country Let us study about those in detail Let's explore India is a land of diversity We have different landforms in the country They are the northern mountains the fertile plains the plateaus the great indian desert the islands northern mountains mountains are landforms which rise above the sea level the chain of mountains along the northern parts of india are called the great himalayan mountains these are snow capped mountains the northern mountains extend from northwest to northeast of india the himalayas the karakoram mountains and the northeastern mountain ranges are together called the northern mountains rivers like the ganga yamuna and brahmaputra rise here and flow down to the plains karakoram range the karakoram ranges lie to the northwest of himalayas mount godwin austin k2 is the second highest peak in the world the himalayas the himalayas extend in a long curve from jammu and kashmir in the west of arunachal pradesh in the east it is about 2500 kilometers in length its width varies from 150 to 400 kilometers the himalayas are the highest mountain range in the world it contains many high peaks Mount Everest in the Himalayas is the highest mountain peak in the world with a height of 8848 meters some of the highest peaks of the Himalayas are Everest 8848 meters K2 8611 meters Kanchenjunga 8586 meters Makalu 8462 meters Dhaulagiri 8167 meters Nanga Parbat 8126 meters The Himalayas consist of three parallel ranges The Greater Himalayas or Himadri It is the highest Himalayan range Kanchenjunga is the highest peak in India Many glaciers originate from this region Rivers such as Indus, Ganga, Yamuna and Brahmaputra originate from such glaciers. River Ganga originates from Gangotri glacier and River Yamuna originates from the Yamunotri glacier. The Lesser Himalayas or Himachal. This range lies to the south of Himadri. It has dense forests of pine and deodar on the mountain slopes. Beautiful hill stations like Darjeeling, Shimla, Mussoorie, Nainital and Kullu are situated in this range. The Outer Himalayas or Shivalik. The southernmost range of the Himalayas is called the Shivaliks. This range is covered with thick forests which are a home to many wild animals. Terrace farming is done on the slopes of the Shivaliks. Purvanchal ranges The Purvanchal ranges are the eastern extension of Himalayas. They cover the states of Assam, Manipur, Tripura, Nagaland, Meghalaya and Mizoram. The Garo, Khasi, Jaintia, Naga, Mizo and Lushai are the main hills in this range. Mosinram in Khasi Hills, Meghalaya is the wettest place on earth. Passes in the northern mountains. A pass is a route or path through two mountains. Some important passes: Rohtang Pass, Zozila, Baralachala, Changla, Natula, Shipkila, Khardungla. The word "la" means a pass. Climate: Greater Himalayas are extremely cold. Lesser Himalayas are pleasant during summer. The Shivaliks get heavy rainfall. Vegetation. The vegetation of Himalayas varies with the altitude. Greater Himalayas, the vegetation here is sparse. The only vegetation found here are shrubs, mosses, lichen and wild flowers like edelweiss and blue poppies. Lesser Himalayas, thick forests of pine, oak, fir, 
spruce, walnut, poplar, cypress, and birch are the natural vegetation of this region. Terai region. The vegetation includes trees like sal, kikar, and babul. Forests in the Terai region are being cleared to grow crops like wheat, rice, and sugarcane. Wildlife. Wildlife in the greater Himalayas includes yak, snow leopard, musk deer, wild sheep, and goats, tigers, rhinoceros, leopards, and many types of deer are found in the forests of lesser Himalayas. The wildlife in the forests of Terai includes jackals, hyenas, elephants, and tigers. This region has some national parks and wildlife sanctuaries like Jim Corbett National Park and Rajaji National Park. Importance of Himalayas They form a natural wall along the northern borders. They protect us from cold winds. The rivers originating from the Himalayas carry fertile soil from the mountains to the plains. These rivers help in generating hydroelectricity. These mountains stop the rain-bearing monsoon winds from going further north. The forests provide valuable wood and herbs. Fact file. The first people to climb the snow-covered peak of Mount Everest were Tenzing Norgay and Sir Edmund Hillary in 1953. In 1984, Pachendri Pal became the first Indian woman to climb Mount Everest. Terrace farming is a type of farming on hill slopes. In hilly areas, steps are built on the slopes of hills for growing crops. Terrace fields prevent soil erosion. The Northern Plains Plains are flat and level lands. These lie to the south of Himalayas and stretch from Punjab in the west to Assam in the east. These are formed by three Himalayan rivers, the Indus, the Ganges and the Brahmaputra. Rivers from Himalayas have made the plains fertile. The plains cover almost the whole of Punjab, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal, Delhi, parts of Bihar and Assam. The plains are made of fine silt called alluvium which is deposited by the rivers. Plenty of food crops are grown here. Big cities and towns are situated along the banks of the rivers Ganga and Yamuna. The three important river basins here are the Satlaj River Basin. Punjab and Haryana lie here. Most of India's wheat comes from the Satlaj Basin. Hence, this area is called the Wheat Basket of India. The Bhakra Nangal Dam, built on the Satlaj River, is the highest dam in India. The Ganga River Basin The Ganga River originates as Bhagirathi from the Gangotri Glacier. Many tributaries join the main river from its right and left bank. Tributaries of Ganga, Gomti, Ghagra, Gandak, Kosi, Chambal, Sindh, Betwa, Son. The Brahmaputra River Basin The Ganga and the Brahmaputra form the world's largest delta before draining into the Bay of Bengal. This delta is known as Sundarban Delta. The river Brahmaputra originates in Tibet where it is called Sangpo. Plateaus A plateau is an elevated flat land. It is a flat-topped tableland standing above the surrounding area. A plateau may have one or more sides with steep slopes. The height of plateaus often varies from few hundred meters to several thousand meters. The Deccan Plateau in India is one of the oldest plateaus. The Tibet Plateau is the highest plateau in the world with a height of 4,000 to 6,000 meters above the main sea level. Plateaus are very useful because they are rich in mineral deposits. As a result, many of the mining areas in the world are located in the plateau areas. In India, huge reserves of iron, coal and manganese are found in the Chota Nagpur Plateau. In the plateau areas, there may be several waterfalls as the river falls from a great height. In India, the Hundru Falls in the Chota Nagpur Plateau on the river Subarnarekha 
and the Jog Falls in Karnataka are examples of such waterfalls. The lava plateaus are rich in black soil that are fertile and good for cultivation. Many plateaus have scenic spots and are of great attraction of tourists. They are called the storehouse of minerals. India is called a peninsula because it is surrounded by three large water bodies in the south. It has the Arabian Sea in the west, Bay of Bengal in the east and the Indian Ocean in the south. Major rivers Godavari, Mahanadi, Krishna, Kaveri, Narmada, Tapi, Sharavati, Periyar. The river Godavari is regarded as the Dakshin Ganga. Major dams Nagarjuna Sagar Dam, Krishna, Hirakud Dam, Mahanadi, Mittur Dam, Kaveri. Important hill stations Udaga Mandalam, Uti and Kodai Canal. Deserts the Great Indian Desert, named as Thar Desert, is a large arid region in the northwestern part of the Indian subcontinent. It is the world's 17th largest desert and the world's 9th largest subtropical desert. The Thar Desert is one of the most densely populated desert areas in the world with the main occupations of its inhabitants being agriculture and animal husbandry. Deserts are extremely hot and receive very less rainfall. Very few plants and trees are found here. Only thorny bushes and cactus grow here. Islands Islands are pieces of land surrounded by water on all sides. There are two groups of islands in India. The group of islands in the Bay of Bengal are called the Andaman and Nicobar Islands and another group of islands in the Arabian Sea called the Lakshadweep Islands. Lakshadweep Islands are located in the Arabian Sea. The island is located in off-coast of the Kerala state. Lakshadweep is the island group of India that has coral origin. Features Lakshadweep is India's smallest union territory. Kavaratti is the capital of Lakshadweep. The population in this island is approximately 65,000. Andaman and Nicobar Islands The Andaman and the Nicobar Islands lies to the southeast of the Indian mainland in the Bay of Bengal. Andaman and Nicobar has its two own rich culture and traditions. The island has large number of beaches and tourists are attracted by these. Features Port Blair is the capital of Andaman and Nicobar Islands, famous for the popular cellular jail. Port Blair has a tropical monsoon climate. Most common religion is Hinduism followed by Christianity and Islam. Bengali is the most common language. Hindi, Tamil and Telugu are other languages spoken by the people. Tourism is the main leading economy. Indira Point the southernmost part of India is the Indira Point. It is located in the islands of Andaman and Nicobar. The place was named as Indira Point after the Indian Prime Minister Miss Indira Gandhi. The point was earlier known as Pygmalion Point and Parsons Point.